today, the legendary Scylla plus pop sensation McFly. It's five o'clock. Direct from London, please welcome Mr. Paul O'Grady. Hey, Dan. <laughs> right, boss. Well, good evening. It's bonfire night, November the 5th. What kind of fireworks are they selling in shops? That's what I want to know. Coming into work tonight, it was like coming through Baghdad on a busy night. <laughs> I've never heard explosions like it. One went off last night, 4 o'clock in the morning, I was flung out the bed. This one. <laughs> I've had no kit, my nerves are hanging out, so excuse me tonight if I'm a bit ratty. <laughs> yes. Actually, do you know, that's a sign you're turning into an old nit, isn't it, when you start moaning about fireworks? Remember when you were a kid? When I was a kid, we used to have things called rip raps. Do you anyone remember rip raps? Little, little nasty things, and they used to go. Bang, 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 bang. We used to shove them under the outside toilet door. My Auntie Chrissy was on the lav. Oh, it was a hoose. <laughs> but... <laughs> it moved, and I tell you. But don't be doing it, kids. Do you hear me? Play safe with fireworks. Now, you go out and enjoy your fireworks, but do it quietly and do it safely. And remember, tomorrow's the sixth. Bonfire night's over. Caput, finish, toast. So don't be doing it tomorrow. Right, it's not cool. You'll just be a... if you do fireworks tomorrow. <laughs> so we've had the fireworks, thank you. Yeah, why are you all wearing Susan Forshaw T-shirts? <laughs> this is my show! <laughs> my... I'm the boss, I'm the governor. I know I look like a Tory MP tonight in the tie. <laughs> I'm not like a Tory MP, cos I'm not wearing women's knickers, but I know I'm dressed <laughs> like a Tory MP. No, it's not on this. Yes, yeah, Susan... I'll just tell you at home, in case you've been somewhere banged up in the Antarctic or somewhere, Susan Forshaw's my... Well, she's my TV critic, and she's taken the nation by storm. Oh, she's mobbed, mobbed. People are cutting locks of her hair off. So you'll see why when you see a barnet when she comes out. <laughs> in fact, I'm going to bring her out now. Please, will you welcome my TV critic, the one and only Susan Forshaw. <laughs> I know you're Susan Mad. Look, even he's leaving me to go over to you. Look, <laughs> treacherous, What's treacherous. What's all this time. about? Oh, well, my listen, God. Listen, here's an email we've had. Look, Susan Forshaw, <laughs> what a star, true northern talent. Can we have more of her, please? Is there a fan club we can find out more about her? And that's from Julie from Manchester. My sister. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> it is. She's, it is. A, she's a relation of yours, My isn't sister. she? How are you, anyway? Fine, thanks. What have you been up to? Well, I've been watching a few things this weekend. Um, my pick of the week is Emmerdale. Oh, really? My next one is Age Swap. I weren't keen on the toughest villages. It was upset me a bit, <laughs> I didn't like that. It were all about kids and... Oh, I don't want to talk but, about kids. Well, can I, can I just do the competition? Of course you can. And then we'll come back to you and you tell your review, cos I know everybody out there is gripped. Yes, folks? There's another five grand, five thousand pounds of lovely gold sovereigns and doubloons dug up from Henry Morgan's chest. I don't know what I'm on about, but it sounds good. <laughs> and it can be won today, yes. And today is our last cash giveaway. No more cash after today, something else instead. So it's your last chance to get your hands on all, on all that lovely lolly and register for Guess the Theme Tune. And all you have to do is answer this simple question. Complete the title of this ITV drama, Rosemary and... Is it A, Thyme, B, Garlic, or C, Ethel? To enter by phone, just call 09012 933 955. Calls cost a pound. To enter by text, simply text the word Paul, followed by your answer, A, B or C, to 63337. Text messages cost a pound, and you can also now enter on our website at itv.com slash paulogrady. Entries cost a pound. <laughs> and there's another chance to enter later on in the show. And remember that the lines close at midnight. Right then, Susan. Watch, I can't get over this lot of t-shirts. I can't either. Look at them, they make me say, where's my t-shirt? That's what I want to know. Actually, no, I don't want to sit looking at a load of my gobs on people's backs. That's a nice picture of me that we took in Porta Benus. Oh, was it? In a little bar in Porta. I love Porta Benus. I've been there with Silla. Have you? Yes, oh, Porta Benus. Very nice. Yeah. It is a bit pop. Yeah. Yeah, do you think it's posh? 
Well, it's not as posh as can. I've been there. Yeah. I couldn't afford to go in any restaurants there. We had to just bypass them. But there, you can go in them, can't you? Well, a cup of coffee is about 30 quid. It's can't something, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's disgusting. It me. Not so tell us, what, what have you been watching? Well, I've been watching Emmerdale. What's happened in Emmerdale? Oh, it's all happening in Emmerdale, isn't it? Good grief. <laughs> uh, Betty's back. Oh, is she? Yeah. I want to be like Betty in 30 <laughs> years when I'm her age. She's back and she's looking well. What are you laughing at? Uh, <laughs> she's to go and belt them. Yeah. Uh, and um, Marlon's been left with all these kids of his cousins. And Donna, you know, the nitwit from the shop, she's turned into an earth mother. <laughs> she's, yeah, talking about mothers. <laughs> my mother said, you're doing too, far too much talking, my I'm on here. Oh, did she? Yeah, and she said, look at me. You look like a gnome sat on there. <laughs> Lulu got a stool. And she's taller than me. Do you know what I look like? I catch a glimpse of myself on the monitor with this desk. I look like yeah. Smithy from the Bash Street Kids, cos it's supposed to start doing this, and my neck vanishes. Anyway, we've got a clip of Emma Dale. Oh, Bert, put that tape in, please. Look, I've, um, I've got some really, really bad news. Oh, my God, oh, my God, what, 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 what? I found him. Oh. Everything that is sacred that you three will not have another moment's fun while you're under my roof. Get that smile if you face and get home now. Home. Unbelievable. The fire away. Who's <laughs> the kids? Who's cousins? Kids. She's just been his cousin. Dumped all these kids on him. They're the kids from hell. And he's got to look after him, and Donna's helping him. I think there's going to be a bit of a love match there. Oh, do you think so? Yeah, definite. This definitely. is your prophecy. Yeah, yes. this is my prophecy. And what else have you been having a look at? Um, Patsy Kensit is oh, after I... Robert. Are we you sure? know Robert that's nicked his brother's wife? Well, Patsy Kensit's had everybody, haven't you? <laughs> She's after Robert now, anyway. <laughs> um, so that's quite good. Um, Chloe's still um, trying to get uh, Chaz and her boyfriend split up because she's after him. She wants the money. It's all happening. Everything's happening. Scott Windsor. Has anybody noticed that Scott Windsor started to talk like Humphrey Bogart like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he started to talk like that. Have you noticed? <laughs> Have you? Well, he has. He has. <laughs> I'll watch it tonight. <laughs> he has. It... Since I've mentioned it, everybody keeps saying, yeah, he has. No, she's off. Hey, off. She's off. We're in here for the jaw nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please, Susan Forshaw. Come on, let's hear it for Susan. <laughs> Give your mother my love. Okay. And tell her I'll shut up in future. Oh, right. is she? Oh, I'll keep me gone like... shut when you're on. Is her name Lily? It is. Oh, yeah. is it? <laughs> All yeah. right, Lil, we'll be seeing you next week. Now, up next, after the break, it's Miss Silla Black, so don't be going anywhere. See you after the break. Ta da. Still to come, showbiz legend Silla Black. Welcome back, folks, and don't forget McFly will be here later on with an exclusive performance. Yes. Oh, they'll go mad up the back. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a very, very nice old lady. No, she is. <laughs> She's a real sweet old thing, God love her. She's just become a grandmother. She's got a bus pass, and she's an inspiration to pensioners all over the world. <laughs> a great expense and a lot of difficulty with social services. We've managed to get it here. Will you please put your hands together and welcome the legend herself, the one and only Scylla Black. <laughs> I heard that, Savage. Now, isn't he awful saying that? <laughs> Mind you, there's a few pensioners out there today. Oh, you're telling me. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I'm really good. How are you, Chuck? All right, Jaja. I hope you had an early night last night. I did. I took one of your pills that you gave me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a placebo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sugar pill. I just tell her it's a tranquilizer. She goes, now. I'm going to interview you properly. OK. I'm going to pretend we've never met, ever. <laughs> no, just get lost. I'm going to do the proper, the full parking. This is difficult. This man uh, has ruined me, ladies and gentlemen. He really has. I mean, we've been everywhere all over the world, haven't we? Yeah. We've been to New York. Oh, tell them about New York. Well, no, we can't tell them about New York at five o'clock. Yes, we can tell them. He took me to the very first bar I have ever been to in New York. And we were thrown out of that. <laughs> we were, you think I'm joking? I we said to her. We were thrown out of that and we went to the bar next door. Oh, Because I'd never been into a bar. Uh, 
ever, ever in you my life. You haven't though, had you? You've never no, been no, in a no, pub? No, 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 no. I never sat at a bar in my life. And we went into the one next door, and there was this, these English people there, and this fella was celebrating his 50th birthday. And it was lovely, actually. And in the meantime, he was up doing the most rudest version, singing of in this ha bar. <laughs> of it had to be you. It had to be you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then he came off because this guy was celebrating, the English guy celebrating his 50th birthday. And it was just so funny. And he, he said to Paul, Paul, I don't look 50, do I? And he said, oh, no, you don't look 50. <laughs> you might have done 10 years ago, but you don't look... <laughs> And we got thrown out. <laughs> we never got thrown out because of that, because you went down every single guy at the bar and wishing them happy birthday to the English people, uh, which was fine. And they came to an American, and this guy was terrified, and he said, but, you know, it is not my birthday. And you grabbed his tie, and he said, well, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Children, take no notice of her. Take no notice. <laughs> She's ruining my reputation. <laughs> what are you, I put this on for you. I know. I've well, got sellers coming in. I know. Well, because you always wear ties with us, I wear a tie, and we look like a pair of detectives. We do. <laughs> Steve, <and> Mrs. Peel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to interview okay, you properly. Okay, you ready? Okay. We're going to go back now to the very early days of your career. Wow. The very early days, and I want to ask you what it was like to work with the great JL, John Loggy Bird. <laughs> up at, <laughs> <laughs> at Ali Pally. Oh, <laughs> John only, Lennon. I'm only messing. Oh. I want to know about the boyfriend. That's what I want to know oh. about. <laughs> I'll tell you why, viewers. I shall tell you why. My life has been made a living hell because of this woman. I've had every journalist on the blower, that's <laughs> Liverpool for phone, saying, who's Scylla going out with? Like I'm like the Scylla Blacktown crier. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Scylla Black, seen outside nightclub, holding hands. Now, can you please put the record straight, Scylla, please? Well, you've hit the nail on the head. We were literally holding hands, and you know what that means. You don't hold hands, though. How many times have you held my hand, taken me out of a nightclub? I've been dragging you out, <laughs> not holding your hands. There's a difference. Well, that's probably what happened there, then. Um, no, he's gorgeous, he's lovely. John Medesi is absolutely fabulous. He's a mate. Don't hold your breath. I'm not... Ri it's, you know, we're just friends. I mean, it's... Uh, seriously, though, Paul, uh, you know me. Um, um, it's only in the last nine or ten months that I've really... Um, enjoyed being single. Blossomed. Well, I don't know about blossom, but oh, I mean, no, I've been. You've I've been... blossomed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're like a garden centre in midsummer. You <laughs> blossomed. <laughs> you blossomed, girl. No, but I mean, I, I had to sort of put the blocks on. Um, I, you know, I've, it's over five years and I had to sort of, um, you know, really say to myself, well, all right, Bobby's not coming back here. And once I, I put the blocks on that and turn the chapter, as Bobby would say, turn the page. Well, that's a famous phrase, isn't yeah. it? Turn the turn page. Turn the page. Turn, <laughs> the times I've had said on the phone to me when I'm kicking off, turn the page, Paul. Turn the page. Turn the page. I've gone through the library. <laughs> <laughs> really enjoying being single yeah. and I'm not about to give up my remote control for anybody. <laughs> I'm really enjoying myself. And why should you? Well, no, why should I? Do you know what gets on my nerves when they all say she's always out clubbing? Why shouldn't you go clubbing? Why shouldn't you enjoy yourself? They will... That is leftover from the days when I was going out with you. You know when they repeat the same thing over and over again, she's out clubbing every night. I'm not doing I know that. You're not. I, you know I love watching Corrie. You know I love yeah. staying in. And yeah. you know I love my own company. Yeah. It was you that brought me down to this. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> you did. But I mean, we've travelled everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. We really have. We've been to New York. Do you remember when we talked our way all over on Concord to New York? Oh, I. And you didn't even know you were in New York till we were in, <laughs> till we were in the taxi going, you know... I said, oh, there's a skyscraper, we're in New York. <laughs> I tell you, that was a waste of money, that Concord. Crushed up in them seats like that. <laughs> and then some snotty Scottish steward. Would you like the full English breakfast? <laughs> I said, oh, and what concentration camp does this constitute a full English breakfast? <laughs> Flung it at me. And they give you an old scabby bit of writing paper and a pen for that. I'd want a, I'd want a kidney for that price, Silla. <laughs> But then we get to New York and we, we both love the theatre. We love the theatre. So we'd go to the theatre every single night. Yeah. But on a Monday night, it's what they call 
dark in New York, which means that there are no shows on a Monday night. Well, we were demented, weren't we? <laughs> but we went to Greenwich Village and, and oh, Paul... Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm leaving Paul... now. Can I have my P45 <laughs> and my cards now, please? Because after this is out, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> Paul took me to a show called Seven Naked Men. <laughs> and it was a musical. Yeah. And, you know, I thought, well, that's really good. You know, we went to, into... And they were actually naked. All these men were naked. <laughs> yes. And you could see I was agitated. Agitated? <laughs> <laughs> she was sat there in the middle of the aisle going, I can't sit here, and people going, they're still a black. <laughs> oh, look, they're still a black. <laughs> and then they sang a song about meat. <laughs> and then he pipes up after the song, he said, meat, meat. I've seen more meat on a butcher's apron. Get your coat, we'll go. <laughs> oh, it's rubbish. <laughs> it was rubbish. It was rubbish. <laughs> now, what are you... And then you took me... No, 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 I've got to get this in before. Then you took... Cos we've been everywhere. We've been to Spain. I could go on about you in Spain. I could go on. I'd rather went... you did, Marcella. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be wholesome here at 5 o'clock. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> what were you going to ask me, then? I was going to ask you about you and Duncan from Blue. Oh, me and... Is, as the rumour spread? Yeah, it's spread, Sella. It's as spread it's like... Spread. But what's the show you're doing? <laughs> well, I'm doing this Helping Hands Awards on, on this Saturday, tomorrow, live. And it's really, really good. It's, it's sort of all the monies that, you know, the, uh, the, the lottery has generated and they've handed out to all these special charities. Where is this, Sella? Where are they doing it? We're doing it at the Tate Modern. Right. And it's a fabulous show. It's going to be really good. Very emotional, I would imagine. Um, and all these people that have been... All these charities that have been awarded all these monies and the, the ones that have really come good, they've been voted all, you know, what they've done best with the project. We're giving out six worthy awards. And Duncan is really my helping hand on the night. And it, I'm so looking forward You've to You've got it. a bit of a shine on him, haven't you? I have, because Duncan <laughs> did... <laughs> the whole of blue did Blind Date, of course. That's right. If you can remember rightly. And the, the reason why I got close to Duncan was because... Yeah. Um, I get the blame. You see what I've got to put up with? <laughs> Imagine dragging this out of a bar in New York at 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> The reason why I got close to Duncan is because um, he was chosen to go on a blind date, on blind date. Yeah. And so we've, we've, we've kept close yeah. ever since. So yeah. when the opportunity arose, um, when they asked me to present these Helping Hands Awards, and they said, you know, it's going to be a long night, uh, who would you like? And uh, the name was suggested that Duncan would do it. Well, that was it. I mean, I just signed on the dotted line. It's going to be a really nice night. Am I come down? What time do you kick off? Um, well, it's live. The whole thing is live. But I might I mean... be late, Stella, with two dogs causing a commotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry that Buster's not here. He's just today. been whipped off. I know. I yeah. met him. I gave him, a, you know, a kiss on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you smelt him? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Couldn't you smell me on him when you kissed me as we came on? Now, surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. It was one of your biggest hits. And we've yeah. arranged a very little surprise of our own for you here. Yeah. Well, I now, hope it's a big surprise. I'll tell you why, Stella, because this show's turning me soft. No, it has. Because that was known for me, wickedness. And now, all of a sudden, I'm doing all these good turns and things. You, you know what? You sell yourself short because... Lies. It's lies. <laughs> it's not lies. It is. It's I'm going to shut lies. her up now. Silly, I'm, oh, don't, I'm sorry, please, sorry. Don't. You're ruining me, street what, Where am I going? I want you to sit in my desk. OK. <laughs> and I want you to do this surprise, surprise okay. for me. Oh, gosh. Imagine just... don't trip on You've that. You've got underground light in I know, here I to have... light you up. Under... Oh, I, oh yes. why haven't I got that? We'll get it, you silly. the double chin. Isn't this couch hideous? Do you know they got it out of a skip? Honestly, they, I'm, I'm not joking. I am not joking. Oh, it's, you can have it, love, afterwards. I feel so at home here. You look very at home. I oh, really well, I, feel I, at I, home. I can sit, I'll sit here and you... Amongst... <laughs> <laughs> OK. McFly are one of the biggest bands of the moment. They have sold millions of records and have an army of fans, but the researchers have unearthed their biggest fan. Her name's Jess McCarthy. She's from Whitby and she's just 14 years old. She thought she was coming here to do interview the band on a link-up to a studio in Newcastle, but we gave her the biggest surprise of her life as she prepared to speak to them long distance. That was beautiful. <laughs> Hi, guys, I'm ready to rehearse now. OK, yeah. yeah. Shall I do it now? Yeah.
Hi guys, my name's Jess McCarthy and I'm your biggest fan and I love you all and I just want to say happy birthday Dougie for at the end of the month. And I've got a few questions here to ask you, sir. Can any of you speak a foreign language and would you ever dress up as a woman? Hello. Jess! Hey, you right? Oh my! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my nice God! Hey, you right, Tom? Nice to meet you. <laughs> we just we just arrived, but um. We, we only just got here, but we thought we'd come yeah. in and uh, say hello. hello. So I like your bed. Thank <laughs> you. Get a picture of us. <laughs> oh no! What are you doing here? What What are you doing here? I um, came to ask you some questions. Oh, oh do you think it was going to come over there? Yeah, that's yeah. what I got told, <laughs> that you couldn't make it to the studio. Is that studio. totally fake? Oh, yeah, fake and fake, poor girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. All the memories are coming back. Are they? <laughs> Welcome, surprise, surprise. Yeah, all the memories are coming back, and, you know, and we're going to do, be doing a lot of that on You're my You're doing Christmas your new show special, for, for yeah. Living TV? Yeah. yeah I'm doing yeah. that, aren't I? I hope so. I am. I it's... don't know what she's got me doing, but she's doing, got me doing something. <laughs> but it's live on the 19th of December, and it's, it's going to encompass everything that I've ever, ever done in my career. And even I'm going to be playing Cupid as well. Oh, no, here we so... go. <laughs> not with me, you're not. Thank well, you very maybe. much. I don't want some ropey maybe. old bits. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, Stella. But it, it's <laughs> quite exciting because it's going out live on the 19th of December for two hours. Oh. God. Two hours live, can you imagine? Count me out, count me out. <laughs> I've got something you're going to love now. Oh, oh, oh go you're going you're to love this. Now, this is going to test your culinary skills. Yes, oh, really? yeah. Really? I can't cook. You can cook. You're a fabulous cook. You make the best chips I've ever tasted. <laughs> I had to say something, didn't I? Now, apparently, the whole of the UK is going to be going topping mad because it's national... national I can't speak today. <laughs> national Pizza Week. On our website, we asked you to which top... Which pizza... Oh, shut up, okay. <laughs> Which pizza top... Do you want top... me to go back again? <laughs> <laughs> and you did it so nice. See, I'm trying to do it fast, and this thing's up and down, up and down, up and down, like fast my whip bread. Oh, well, you would know the feeling well. <laughs> Which, which pizza toppings <laughs> would best describe me? And we're about to reveal the winner and try and make it. Yes, that's the pizza topping I'm on about. <laughs> Please welcome, from that well-known Italian region, Kentucky in the USA, Papa John Pizzeria's very own Justin Gilbert. Ah, oh, <laughs> Justin, Justin, Justin. Hi, Justin. Hi, Paul, nice to meet you. Very well. Are you coming over, Stella? Yes, yes. Now. Hello, Justin. Hi, how are you? And you're from the US of A? I'm from the US of A. Wow. Sorry <laughs> 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 about that. Sorry about me, friends. That's quite all right. <laughs> as far as the winning recipe goes, the Paula Grady pizza would feature hot chilies mm. because you are so saucy, pineapples because you're so sweet, Whoa. and finally pepperoni because you're a funny sausage. <laughs> And that comes from Sophia from Surrey. Well, two out of three. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> and I'm going to make that pizza for you, Paul. We're going to make the Paula Grady pizza. We're going to take our fresh dough ball. We're going to edge lock it, which is a quick spin around the edge. This smacks a generation <laughs> game to me, Stella. It does, it yeah. does. Then we we're going to edge stretch it. We have. Stretch it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Spread your dough, Stella. Spread, Spread dough. it out. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> 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 like pantomime time. Take it down to the screen. <laughs> Mind your barnet. <laughs> so this what so we spread it and stretch it, yeah. yeah. And that was slapping, but I don't know if we We're can... gonna slap you it. Slap away. I you do you do this but you know, just your voiceover on tape, because that all your dialogue is fantastic. Oh, you're very I mean, sweet. You stretch it and you slap it. That's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> we get a lot of applicants. For you that. taught me everything I know. <laughs> I love the way she passes the blame to me. <laughs> we get some pineapples and some hot chilies, nice. some jalapeno peppers. Oh, yeah. Some sausage pepperoni. Oh, that, that, that. And then we just finish up mm, with lovely. our fresh 100% mozzarella cheese. Yeah. I'm not good. I'm not big on salamis. <laughs> Aren't ya? <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. It's too garlicky and... Yeah. Well, you can make any pizza you like, and this is the Paul O'Grady well, pizza. Well, hold the pepperoni, then. The That's Paul the O'Grady pizza. Pizza, yeah. Wow. It'll poison you in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys like to have a go? Yeah, can we? Do you fancy a seller? Well. You'd be fine. Go on. You want? Do you want me to mind the tom for you? <laughs> <laughs> Just take a okay, fresh dough Okay, let's see how we go. 
Put nice. your hands together like that. Put your elbows out. I pray. Out. I pray. Absolutely. Nice. Stretch the edge. Oh, wow. Oh, music. Away. This looks good. And then what, what was... Away. Look at mine. Go ahead. <laughs> flip it over. I won't tell you what yours stretching. looks like. What edge stretching? And what happens here? Try to pinch that. Oh, pinch? Ooh. <laughs> mine looks obscene. Slightly obscene. Now, that's a yeah, bit big for me. Job, that's You're ready to go. You're ready We're to We're ready, ready to slap. rock and roll. We're Don't ready to slap. <laughs> She's going to belt me in the gob with this. No, no. I this. I know I'm not soft. Any excuse. That's going to come hurtling over. Right, now, do we put it on this? Put it right on the screen there. Yeah. Tight. Go back and forth there. You need to stretch it out. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. How are you doing, Angela? I didn't deliberately. I didn't do it. You did. I know you're desperate to get that right, my movie. So, <laughs> are, we, are we going to get all this? Oh. You need no, hang on. You need a bit of that. OK. And then what should you do? We're coming! Back. We're coming! Four, three, two, one! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Justin, thank that you very much. So good. Now we've got to cook this in the break. Mm. Right? <laughs> oh, she's off. <laughs> See you after the break and get ready because one of the <laughs> biggest bands in the UK will be here with us, Mac Fly. So we'll see you Woo! after the break. To win £5,000 cash and register for Guess the Theme Tune. And all you have to do is answer this simple question. Complete the title of this ITV drama, Rosemary and is it A, Time, B, Garlic or C, Ethel? To enter by phone, just call 09012 933 955. Calls cost a pound. To enter by text, simply text the word Paul followed by your answer A, B or C to 63337. Text messages cost a pound and you can also now enter on our website at itv.com slash Paul O'Grady. Entries cost a pound. Welcome back. My nerves are hanging out, and you know why they're hanging out. <laughs> yes. Now, t <laughs> teenage girls across the land are glued to the television sets right now, ready for my next, okay, next guest. <laughs> I'm doing it again, so, uh, They've had two number one singles. Their debut album, Room on the Third Floor, went in at number one, and it's still selling like hotcakes. Will you please welcome Tom, Danny, Dougie and Harry, better known as McFly. <laughs> <laughs> Are you two all right standing at the back? Yeah, yeah. we're fine. They've got stools here for us. Oh, have you? Yeah. Are you okay? Are you sure? Are you comfy? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, still, I feel my age here now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish they would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, police. Sorry about this, lads. <laughs> you do realise you're sitting next to a death trap on the end of the side. <laughs> I'm telling you, she might look innocent, but what? Now, your new single, why is it called The Room on the Third Floor? Uh, basically, because we wrote our album in, on, the room on, on the third floor, so <laughs> me and Tom. Sorry, sorry about that. Was, <laughs> and we wrote it on the third floor. Did of the something hotel. happen on the, in this third floor? <laughs> Lots of things we, happened. We were very yeah. bored, so. Uh, yeah. It was just, it was just those two, not, not me and him. Oh, you have to excuse Harry, he can't talk properly because he's just got his tongue pierced. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Aww. So, oh, that's that's Tom, yeah. We're, we're translating for him. Did it air, Sally? You should have seen him when he got it done. He like, almost passed, passed out. out. I can't really speak properly, so... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Still has had her stuff. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's got a ring and a belly button. Show him, so oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I drag it out to clubs by her, so... <laughs> Come on, Silla. Did it hurt? Yeah, it really hurt. Did they give you an anaesthetic or anything? <laughs> <laughs> looking at it, making this is me going to be easy for you. Seriously, man. no, it's I'm not. I'm just not going to talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they didn't. They just put it straight out with a clamp and just. Oh. 
I know, but, but you guys doing that makes me feel really hard. You have to think. <laughs> You've got to think. <laughs> Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Fashion um, seller. I don't know, really. Dougie got his done as well, but he wimped out and took it out after the second day. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can you eat no up? No. Does it <laughs> I'm absolutely starving. You say, I can't talk today and I haven't had mine pierced. At least you've got an excuse. How did you come up with the name, McFly? I did it. Uh, where really? did that come from? Uh, from the film Back to the Future. Oh, I've never seen that. You're not seeing you it? Haven't seen oh, that well, I'm older than you. I don't watch kids for things. <laughs> you even have seen that. Oh, don't start siding with them, ganging up on me. It's a classic. You have to watch that. But yeah. is that. Is that with Back Michael Thingy, the little yeah, one? Yes. And the mad grandfather. And the yeah. Guy. yeah, yeah. Well, what's McFly got to do with that? <laughs> his, uh, <laughs> his name in the film is called Marty McFly, and I'm a big fan of the film, so... Oh, right. So, oh. it's still the name. And you, you, do, do you get compared to Busted? Does this drive you mad? Um, at first, because like when we came out, we had we went on tour with them and stuff. A lot of the press that was written about us was sort of linked with Busted. But like since our album's been out and stuff, but you write so, you write all your own yeah. stuff, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And play your own instruments. Yeah, now, Silla, that's admirable, isn't it? I think it's incredible. It is because in this yeah. day of miming and all this, and you know, manufactured <laughs> bands, you lot are getting out there doing it, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. You won't be at it because you can't throw. <laughs> 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 that's, that's your I thing. Don't, I don't I don't sing. I just use my hands. And, and you all live together are in you a house. Drummer? Yeah. Wow. Poor oh, Addy is always all stuck mental. at the back. No drummer, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, they're all wow. mental. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. But don't forget, she knew Ringo. He knew Ringo? Yeah. I still do. He's still alive. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 is, he, is, he, is he a bit mad? All drummers are mad. Yeah. I know female drummers, too, and they're all well, mad. Does this classify yeah. as mad? No. Not You've only really, had a piercing. No. No. You haven't had your face tattooed, have you? <laughs> <laughs> nice, I'm trying, I'm trying. Well, listen, earlier today, you, like, you surprised one of your biggest fans. Yeah, in the uh -huh. green room. And she's yep. here now and she's going to ask you some questions. Will you please welcome Jess McCarthy? Oh. That's what she did. Oh, nice to meet you. Kiss, kiss. Are you OK? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I'll sit down there, kids. Right, so you ready? Yeah. Uh, you now, you're mad on these, aren't you? Yeah. How do you feel now? Really excited. Oh, yeah? Oh. You don't look it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I was excited, I'd be hanging off them raptors. <laughs> You're in shock, aren't you? Don't yeah. worry about it. Now, you've got some questions. Go on, you take over for me. Right. Um, do any of you have any pets? If so, who looks after them for you when you're away on tour? Well, me, me and him got a couple of gerbils. Actually, you tell so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, me, me and Harry got some gerbils, but um, we got quite bored because we couldn't look after them, could we? Yeah, they wouldn't. They, they weren't. They weren't fun. They, just, they wouldn't stay still. Harry's just kept diving off his hand. <laughs> I've dropped mine a couple of times. So. My sister's got their gerbils now. Oh, has she? Yeah. <laughs> so his sister looks after our pet. <laughs> Go on, then. What's your next um, one? I recently saw you on tour and I noticed loads of people threw and wear on the stage. What do you do with it all? <laughs> So Dougie keeps it on. Yeah. yeah. It's, all, it's, all all box. it's all in Dougie's room. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you could be any famous person for one day, who would it be, and what would you do? That's a good question. Um, um, it's really tough. I'd just be, I'd be um, Springsteen. Oh, would you? Bruce Springsteen. Bruce? Oh wow. Just to play on, I don't know, with Clarence probably. I don't know. Okay. Um, where did the idea for your latest video room on the third floor come from? Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> no, it wasn't really. It was the, actually it was the director's idea for the video because we're not clever enough to come up with anything like that. So, no, but the, the, it was shot. so great. Like the mm. idea for the video that you know we loved it. Like the first time we read it, and we sort of thought that had to be the one. Okay. Come on then. Do you want to ask him one more? Um, you've recently been to Japan. Are the Japanese fans much different to the English fans? Yeah. Um, oh, are they? Yeah, yeah they're, can't speak they're mad. Yeah. It's <laughs> weird, because in, in, in Japan, they all, they all like, um, they're in a line or maybe in a group and just one comes forward and goes back, the next one comes, they don't all come. Oh, so yeah. the yeah. Like, yeah, they're really, oh, really that's great. Like, great. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice, eh? It was bad because um, they got told to go, like, go out to the hotel and so we thought we'd go and see them. And we <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> and, and we went out there and they all started crying. Yeah, like literally, oh. it was like a, like a group of 20 Japanese girls all crying. And like they were all, and in England, everyone like fights to like come forward first. So they like let, let, yeah. let the other one go I first. I have that one. I come out there all crying. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it was blessed to tell you. Oh, listen, thanks, Jess. Give the boys a big hand of round of applause. Well done, Jess. And stay with us.
us because they will be doing an exclusive acoustic version of their new single later on. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> now, Jess, it's time for today's Guess the Theme tune. And Scylla, will you help me? I... And Harry, because you're overlooked on the drum kit and oh, nobody's right. shared a room with you because your feet smell apparently and you've just <laughs> had your tongue pierced, you're helping me as well. It's time for me to go over to my will at organ and play Guess the Theme tune. Fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> Under the bulb, Stella. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Uno, do we? Three, take it away. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Whack does you singing Gracie Fields make me laugh? <laughs> <laughs> Do Walter. Go, <laughs> go on. Walter. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> lead me to the altar. <laughs> what does that make me laugh? Harry doesn't I know what we're know. talking about. <laughs> Sorry about this, viewers at home. Slap him, Silla, for saying that. Slap him hard. No, I'm far no, too no, young. No, said, I'm, too, I'm too young. Oh, that's OK. Yes, no, that's all right, young. kid. All right, we'll just twiddle with this thing later. Make it suffer. <laughs> now, I'm going to play two tunes from a TV show or a movie, and there's 500 quid for guessing the first tune correctly. And then you can gamble that 500 quid, and if you guess the second tune correctly, you'll win £2,000. Thank you very much. Great. OK, Silla, who's on the line? Well, it's Mary. From Clark and Well. Mary. Hello, Paul. Hello, Mary. Yeah, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. Are you? Yes, fine. Yes. Are, you, are you ready to play this? Yeah. Well, pay attention now, and here's your first tune. <laughs> All okay, right. love, and best of luck. One, Thanks. two, three. <laughs> you can have me in the back, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> Mary, if you don't get this, I'll bat your nose down to a blackhead. Did you recognise that, Mary? Not really. <laughs> well, there's a clue here, so right. she stood next to me. Yeah. No? You didn't get it? Can't help it. Oh, oh. surprise, surprise, Mary! <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mary. No, sorry, sorry, love. Mary. It was a good... Have we got time for another caller? Yeah? Will somebody answer me, or do I need a medium, please? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this Did show, this, cos you're in here, it's gone to pass, I can tell you. <laughs> Addy, who's on the line? It's an L, OK. Lynn from Southampton. Good That's lad, Lynn Addy. from Southampton. Uh, hello, Lynn. <laughs> Paul. Sorry. Paul Addy, he's having a bit of trouble today. Me, you kid. <laughs> Lynn, <laughs> here's your first you in love. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> OK, take it away. One, two, three. <laughs> Lynn from Southampton, did you recognise that tune? Not a bit. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, let's help her out. Okay, okay. It's a good clue. Blind <laughs> date? Oh. Oh. Let's give it to her. Don't be mean. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Did she say it? Blind date, yeah. Did she say yeah, it? Yeah, she did. Hello. Yeah. You did say it, Lynn, didn't you? I did say blind date, yes. Oh, good on you. Well, well done, Lynn. You've Thank won you. 500 quid. Now, do you want to risk that money and gamble to win £2,000 by trying to guess the second tune? Or are you going to... What, what are you going to do? I don't think I'm better. Good for you. <laughs> See, that woman, that Theresa uh, Jowls, whatever her name is, Tessa Gowell, what's her name? Tessa Jowls. Tessa Jowls. She's going Gamble. on about gambling. Nobody wants to gamble. You're wasting your time, Tessa. Go and do something else. More crashes. That's it. That's what we want. Well, we've got no more time for any more callers, but 500 quid, or whatever it is I'm giving away, is winging its way to you. And in a moment, McFly will be singing live and Scylla will face the challenge of a lifetime. Really? Yes, Scylla. Yes. <laughs> Get the sharks out of the tank now, please. <laughs> but first, your last chance to win £5,000 cash and register for Guess the Theme Tune. And here's today's question. Question. Pay attention. Complete the title of this ITV drama. Rosemary and is it A, thyme, B, garlic, or C, ethyl? To enter by phone, just call 09012 933 955. 
Paul's cost a pound. To enter by text, simply text the word Paul, followed by your answer, A, B or C, to 63337. Text messages cost a pound, and you can also now enter on our website at itv.com slash Paul O'Grady. Entries cost a pound. Welcome back. <clears throat> now, later on, I'll be testing secret, Scylla's secret skill. I'm doing it again. But now, performing live with their new single, Room on the Third Floor, which is out on the 15th. Please put your hands together for McFly. Come on, let me in. Room on the third floor, not what we asked for. I'm not tired enough to sleep. One bed is broken, next room is smoking. Air conditioners are gone. In. Outside it's raining, hear the guests upstairs complaining. But the room that's got the TV too loud. I guess at times like these remind me that I got to keep my feet on. Brilliant lads, brilliant. Well, folks, that's about it for this week. But um, many, many years ago, Scylla, well, she used to type, didn't you? Yes, yeah, I did. She started a career typing, so if you would, Miss Black, please, type okay. this down. What do you want? Joining me next week, you ready? Take a letter, Miss Black, thank okay. you very much. Joining me next week, you ready? Come on, I'm then. ready. What do you want Joining me, me next week. Oh, jo <laughs> Joining me next week will be Chris Tarrant, <laughs> Wesley Alive, and Mr Michael Ball, and not forgetting <laughs> Coronation Street star Beverly Callod, and many, many more. <laughs> Come along, Stella, quick, quick, quick. Take a note, please, and I'll take off. It's Why am I getting changed in the caravan? Nails, my Never mind nails. the nails, just get. Oh, she's useless. Come here, I'll show you what she's typed. Wait, where's the C? Look, 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 that's it. That's what she's typed. That's what she's typed. Please. The first lady of television. Come on, give her a huge round of applause, Miss Stella Black. The one and only McFly. Susan Forshaw and all the rest of my guests. Have a great weekend. Go easy on those rotten fireworks. Don't be chucking them at anybody. And I will see you on Monday. Take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves.